everybody, so as you can see, I'm now in our outdoor shop in the goat barn, and I've been making up these evergreen bundles, which have holly, buried holly, um, and evergreens in them, and we're selling those so you can make your own wreaths. We've also got ivy, and I've been putting up some more of the wreath bases behind me. I'm almost done. I've just got a few more of the wreath bases to put out, and then mistletoe, which is really cute as well, and then I am done for the day. Um, it's been actually really good. I've worked really quickly. I've been listening to a favourite podcast of mine, which is Homemaker Chic, which I love. So I've been laughing away at that. That's been keeping me company. Um, and yeah, it's all coming together really nicely. It's looking very festive, actually. And this is our second last weekend of running this. So we're almost at the end of it. Um, it's definitely added another dimension onto my plate of things to do. But uh, I think it's been really worthwhile. So I'm going to crack on with this, get it finished. And then it's just lunchtime and then going outside to pick all the vegetables for the farm shop as well. Hey everybody, so I'm back inside and I wanted to show you some of my favourite reads at the moment. I've got quite a pile of books here. And in winter I do love to read cookery books, but I also like to read some really cheesy Christmas novels. And I think the reason that I like to do this is it's just so relaxing and Christmas can be quite a busy time. I'm quite full on here on the farm and I do love the escapism that a good cheesy Christmas book gives. So I've got a few of those as well to show you, um, which probably isn't to a lot of people's taste, but you never know, um, I'm a big fan. So um, what am I reading? There's such a, it's such a huge pile. Um, first up, The Wild Remedy by Emma Mitchell. Um, I talk about this quite a lot. Uh, this is a diary throughout the year of um, Emma's beautiful writing and illustrations and it's just gorgeous if you're interested in look at that so beautiful if you're interested in nature and things that you might be able to see throughout the year I highly recommend this make a beautiful gift no matter what time of year and Emma is just so open and honest in her writing about mental health as well which I think you know it's something we can all suffer with at times I know I do um Sorry, the kids are very noisy, it's that time of day. Uh, but yes, love this, such a charming book, highly recommend it. Um, a new read for me is Wild and Free Holidays by Ainsley Arment. Um, Wild and Free is um, a website which is all like about homeschooling. They sell bundles about homeschooling and she's also written a wonderful book called Just Wild and Free, all about homeschooling. So I highly recommend that as well. Even if you don't homeschool, it's quite an interesting concept, the idea of sort of teaching your kids just through life. Um, but this book is full of crafts and ideas to do throughout the winter months with kids absolutely gorgeous would work for older kids as well highly recommend this they also have a um, non-holiday one so one that just takes you throughout the whole year um love it so really really excited about this one this book is so gorgeous um it is the early riser companion and it's it's rhythms rituals traditions and transitions for the first seven years this is quite an waldorf inspired book it's by elizabeth antonia shh, shh, shh. And um, it's just so charming. I think if any of you have kids, you would absolutely love this. It is hugely expensive because it's um, a small print book and it is um, obviously done in America as well. So I think this cost me a lot of money. I'm not gonna say how much it cost, but it was very expensive. This was a birthday present to myself last year. This is another one we love to read throughout the year. The Almanac by Leah Lee. Enders. I'm sure most of you have this. It takes you through the whole year and gives you lots of ideas of what you can expect to see in each month and I love that. Um, then I also have, I'll show you this one first, The Little Library Christmas by Kate Young. This book is gorgeous. It takes you through uh, the run up to Christmas and also through New Year and gives you ideas for books to read and recipes to make and also has little stories of our own experience of Christmas. So nice, charming little book, nice little stocking stuffer. Um, so cheesy Christmas books. The first one I have, I haven't actually read this yet. It's a, called A Gift for Christmas by Jenny Gladwell. And um, this has actually got really good reviews and I think it's going to be really fun to read. Um, yeah, it just sounds fantastic. About a burnt out journalist sent to Norway to cover the story of the Queen of the Forest, a Christmas tree given to the people of London every winter. 
and she finds wartime letters between a young soldier and a mysterious girl. So I think this will be really nice to read, actually not too cheesy at all. Um, but going on to the cheesy books, I have just finished Carol Matthews, Christmas for Beginners, um, which was incredibly cheesy, absolutely not my kind of thing, but I got really into it and I actually did enjoy it at the end. It's about a um, farm for kids with special needs and mental health issues and um, this lovely woman who runs it and falling in love and everything. It's, it is pretty good. I did get quite involved in that one at the end, even though I was not very convinced initially. Um, but yes, I do actually quite enjoy that. Very sort of like cheery and uplifting and a good bit of cheese is um, definitely worth it sometimes. Um, then I went to the library and the librarian gave me so many cheesy books. I was trying to stop her because I didn't want that many, but she gave me tons. The one I'm reading at the moment is by Krishida McLaughlin, The Cornish Cream Tea Christmas. Um, so ridiculously cozy. Um, got a little bit of like scary stuff going on. There's like a haunting in the hotel and there's sort of eco consultants who sort of like like each other. It is actually pretty good. I'm enjoying it a lot. Incredibly cheesy though. So don't expect um, any kind of like poetic moments in this one, but definitely a good fun read. If you need cheering up or you just want to just give your brain a break from thinking too much. Oh. Um, highly recommend books like that. You know, they definitely have their place. Um, oh, talking about something that's really beautiful is Lanterns Across the Snow by Susan Hill. This is the memory of a childhood Christmas in Wessex seen through the eyes of one enchanted little girl. And it is so charming. Um, you can only get it second hand now, I think. Um, it might be in some anthologies, but it is gorgeous. I read the Christmas Eve part of this and I'm saving Christmas Day uh, for Christmas Eve because it is just gorgeous, poetic, beautiful, charming writing, so nostalgic. Susan Hill is a wonderful writer, gorgeous, very, very excited about that and definitely one I'm going to be reading every year. Um, Beth Kempton, I adore Beth and she very kindly came on the podcast last year to talk about Calm Christmas. Such a good book if you find that every year you kind of just don't really enjoy Christmas or you struggle to make it um, something that really is meaningful to you, this book helps you kind of find your own um, journey with it. And it's so charming, very Christmassy. Love that book. And you can check out the podcast interview I did with Beth last year. I'll link that below. Um, Nigel Slater's Christmas Chronicles. This is another one that's beside my bed at the moment. This is great. It brings you from November to February. And it's got so many wonderful Christmas recipes, but also Nigel Slater's writing about Christmas is just so wonderful, very evocative. <laughs> Finally, I have another sort of child-based one. This is the Advent Craft and Activity book by Crystal Dom. This is a sort of German um, book and it is, it's written in English. It's very Waldorf, it's um, published by Floris Books, again, who I love. And it takes you through Advent um, and gives you ideas for recipes, activities that you can do with children. And um, it's really lovely. This one is being incredibly naughty, so apologies for that. He's making lots of noise. Um, but yes, I think um, I will go put him down for a nap now. And yes, sorry about that very rushed and noisy book review. Book. Is it, is it a book review? We're well, just showing you the books I'm reading. Um, but yes, I'm gonna go now and I will be back soon. So it's after lunch and we are outside about to pick some veg. Um, I'm just sheltering from the wind in the little buggy, but I'll just show you. Charlie's getting all the stuff ready in our fridge container, which is behind me. So this is our little fridge container and this is where we store all the vegetables. So Charlie is just sorting them out. There's some stuff that's left over from last week and yeah. It's very, very handy having this big cold fridge so all our vegetables last much longer. And then we sort of store our equipment for weighing and all that kind of thing. And then we use our buggy to, to do the picking. So we bring this out with us and then we fill this up with veg. So the boys are ready and we're about to go out and get that done. So we're now in the veg field and um, we're going to get started with potatoes, we've got leeks and we're going to, we don't need parsnips or beetroots but we are going to get like some of the green leaves as well like 
um, kale and so on. So we're gonna crack on and do that now. And the boys are gonna hang out in the buggy, which is really handy. Um, but yeah, time to get to work. We're finished picking veg and we are both very ready, as you can hear the kids, <laughs> to go inside and get a cup of tea, some snacks. So yeah, it's time to drive it back with the toddler tantrums and all. So the kids have just gone to bed. I'm finished for the day. I am so tired. I'm finishing the dregs of my dandelion coffee blend, which I've just made up. I'm actually going to be posting this out to top tier Patreons. Um, so if you are a supporter on Patreon, you will be receiving the dandelion tea if you're on the top tier. So I'm really excited about that. It's delicious, really good and bitter and strong. Um, but I did get a couple more packages through the post this afternoon. I thought I would show you because um, they are books I was really looking forward to reading. So the first book is this beautifully illustrated um, cover here by Emily Sutton and this is Round the Christmas Fire and this is an anthology published by Vintage Classics. Sadly it is out of print but it contains some really nice stories, some of my favourites. I'm really looking forward to reading The Jeeves and The Yuletide Spirit by P.G. Woodhouse. And um, there is of course Carol Barking from Cider with Rosie, uh, Dulce Domnum from The Wind in the Willows. Wind in the Willows is one of my favourite books. Um, there's some Nancy Mitford, Stella Gibbons, um, so I know I'm going to really enjoy dipping into this and I didn't really have a good anthology for Christmas so this is going to be amazing and as our fire is just lit and the Christmas tree is all twinkly that will be the perfect book to read this evening. I also picked up Laurie Lee's Village Christmas and other notes on the English year. Uh, Laurie Lee is one of my favourite writers, it's just his work is so nostalgic and beautifully written and what I like about this is it's broken down into winter, spring, summer or autumn so you actually get um, snippets for each season which I really like so obviously I'll be reading winter at the moment but I'm also looking forward to reading, reading spring and the rest of the year. And then finally I got what would be considered like a middle grade book but I thought this would be quite fun to read. It's called The Green Glass House by Kate Milford. And this book actually has really good reviews and it just sounded like a really light, easy read. Quite festive and Christmassy so I'm going to give that a read as well. So on that note I am going to go because I am absolutely exhausted. You can probably see how tired I look. Um, and I'm ready just to unwind, make a delicious supper and enjoy reading my books by the fire. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you, subs you subscribe and give this a thumbs up if you did. And I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.